Hi everybody, I'm Buck WSR Weezer. We're putting the do into do-it-yourself and our do-it-yourself project today brings us here inside the 1998 Bounder by Fleetwood Motorhome RV and what we have going on today is an upgrade an upgrade of the 12 volt lighting here inside the motorhome and the fixtures we want to replace today are these fixtures that you see right here behind me we're here in the bedroom and this hangs on a cabinet and uh, my wife hates these fixtures they're kind of dated this shade is completely uh, brown with age you know so we're 21 years old or so they're not bad fixtures really but they're kind of chintzy and um, it's time to an upgrade. Now you don't have to go out and buy expensive RV specific light fixtures. I'm going to show you how to do it using any kind of light fixture uh, that you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's or the big box stores. Any kind of light fixture, the sky's the limit as long as you can retrofit it to 12 volts and add a switch to it because you have to be able to turn it on with the switch. And so what I'm going to do is, I've already been out to Home Depot, got some very inexpensive, my wife picked these out, I don't love it, but the Hampton Bay, but again, it's, it's whatever you want to do, the sky is really the limit. These are some wall sconces like this, with a uh, globe that sits on top. And it's a nice brushed nickel look, and it's going to fit right there, take about the same amount of space, and just look nicer and newer. It'll be a pretty cool upgrade. So like I said, you got to be able to retrofit your fixture to work with 12 volts. Now this is the standard size light bulb socket, E26, E27, a standard medium-based light bulb socket. But you can get 12-volt light bulbs of that same base size, and they'll work great in here. 120 uh, house current bulb won't work. You have to specifically get a 12 volt bulb. Also, at the Home Depot, I picked up this toggle switch uh, because we're going to use it. We're going to we're going to insert this into the fixture itself so that we can turn the light on and off. You got to be able to do that since these are not run by a wall switch. Now maybe this isn't a uh, I, maybe this isn't a style of lighting that appears to you, but and again, it's really up to you because there's so many different varieties. I want to take you over to the living room and show you an upgrade that I did there of a totally different style of light fixture, but I think you might like it. And this is also an option for you. So you see these two fixtures on the wall here, one there, one down there. And these actually were at the Home Depot, 15 bucks. Put the toggle switch on the side, and that uh, turns into a really nice look. So it's designed for 120 volts, but I retrofitted it with a, an LED 12 volt bulb, and we've got them hanging here. So that's just another option, and I'm really happy with the way these turned out. So getting started on this project, I'm going to show you how you can manage this retrofit. It's really not that hard. It's going to start by taking down the old fixture. One thing that's nice is, if you, even if you're not an electrician, 12 volt RV uh, lights, it's not, it's not high voltage. It's not something that you're going to... You're not going to get hurt on it. So these are screwed into the wood here. And in this case, this is this is a pretty firm, pretty thick uh, piece of wood, so won't be a problem mounting the new fixture there either. These are um, these wires are it's a crimped fitting so it's not a wire nut so I'm going to actually get my snips and cut them and the other thing to remember is that uh, it doesn't matter the color of the wires with this whether we 
which way we connect them, it's not gonna it's not gonna really make any difference. Usually, it is the hot wire that you bring to the uh, to the uh, switch, and in that case, this was our white wire. The black will be our ground. So we'll stay faithful to that. The white wire is the one that came to the switch, and we'll just do it the exact same way. But again, it doesn't really make any difference. And like I said, this is, I'm gonna strip the ends off. This is 12 volts. You can touch those bare wires. You don't have to uh, worry about getting electrocuted here. Now we wanna be careful not to let these two go together. That will uh, short it out, blow a fuse. But in terms of touching it with your bare fingers, no big deal. Now the new fixture comes with uh, the connection wires and a little packet of nuts and bolts. Actually what I'm looking for first of all is the orange wire nuts. I'm going to open up this uh, packet and put a, a wire nut on top of those wires just to insulate them from coming into contact with each other. Next you're going to notice with this particular fixture that there's this bracket in the back and the fixture is, we're going to mount this bracket to the wall first and then uh, later the fixture gets hung up on that bracket. So we take it apart by removing these decorative silver colored bra brushed nickel colored nuts and then we're able to pull this off. So in our case, probably uh, I may just use these same screw holes to mount our uh, bracket right there. And so it'll be, be mounted right up at the very same spot where the other one came down. And I can probably use the same two screws that were holding the other one in place to secure it to the wall. Now this bracket spins and I need to undo this set screw here because we're going to have to, once it's in place, turn it like this. Now because this is made for house current with a ground wire, it's got this green screw. We don't need it. So I'm going to take that out and discard that. You also saw in the fixture a ground wire. Because we're trans we are retrofitting this to 12 volts, we don't need that ground wire either. And just to save some space in there, I'm gonna cut that off also, like that. Well, I got the bracket mounted in the spot where I want it. And uh, here's our wires. Now that and we want we these to be um, level uh, horizontally, so I can tighten this one set screw to hold that in, hold that level and in place. Might not have gotten that quite All right. Just gonna eye it up. like so. So the fixture is going to fit right on top of that. Those screws poke through the two holes here and it gets tightened down that way with the little decorative uh, caps. Now I have to install the switch that I showed you and it makes sense for me to put it right down in this right hand corner. Now I say that because we have that hardware going across the middle and when the fixture's finished, this shade is up there like that. So I could put it up here or down here. I think I'm going to aim for the bottom. That's a good place to, to do it. 
And so I'll just tell you about this switch. It's a simple on-off toggle switch. Up for on, down for off, and it's got two, uh, two terminals here on the end. All right, so I am going to have to drill a hole to remove the, the top spinning nut from the switch. Oops, and then the plate that says on, off. And I've got to drill a hole in our fixture the same diameter as this switch, which is probably about a half inch or three eighths of an inch. And I'm going to use one of those tapered bits that get wider the more deeper you drill. That's a bit like this, which I'll put on the end of the drill. And this goes from like at three sixteenths of an inch up to probably three quarters of an inch. So I'm taking it about halfway through. And just go, you just want to go slow uh, and not make the hole too large, but just enough for that switch to fit through. So I got to take this outside to do that. So drill it carefully, put a piece of wood under it, and um, put it put it where you want it, and then we'll be able to install the switch. So I have drilled the hole where the toggle switch is going to slide through, but before I connect the switch to the plate, I want to. I want to make my connections here at each of these two screws. And the way I do it is I use two wire, two short pieces of wire with with a a crimped on eye eyelet uh, connector that will connect real easily to the. Uh, I'll connect. I'll connect real easily to the um, switch, and so I just gotta. I got a, this kit of uh, crimp on wire connectors from Harbor Freight Tools and works pretty good. This stranded wire doesn't wrap around the little lugs on those on those switches real well, so I prefer to use these. So now I can get a Phillips head screwdriver, take these off and connect them on there. Okay. So now we're ready to put the switch into the light fixture, insert it through that way, off is down, so that goes that way, and then this screws on top of it right like that. All right. All right. Off and on. All right. That's great and now we can get it back up on the wall. Now the way we wire the switch is, so one of these wires going to the switch will connect to our positive which is the white. The other wire coming off of the switch will connect to the positive on the, that goes to the, to the uh, fixture which is this black one. Again, it's not crucial which, whether the white or the black, it gets the positive in this particular instance. All right. And so these will go together. And then the other one from the switch goes to our positive coming out of the wall.
And then the negative coming out of the wall, the black can go straight to the uh, white or neutral of the light fixture directly to it. Okay, so now before we go any further, now that it's wired up, I'd like to put a bulb in there, 12 volt bulb, and uh, make sure it works. If it does, great. We'll take the final steps of hanging it up in place. So I bought 12 volt bulbs, LED bulbs, with the medium base to fit this type of socket. And I got these, I bought a four pack on Amazon. I think they were maybe 10 bucks. Don't remember exactly. Not too terribly expensive. And what's nice about these is they put off about comparably 40 watts worth of light if it were an incandescent, but you're only using like two or three watts of electricity. So let's just try it. Oh yeah. So we're good to go there and now we can complete the job, which is simply hanging the fixture up and uh, capping it off. Certainly could be okay like this. All right, so that feels very sturdy and good. We'll have to remove the bulb to put in the, the uh, sconce, the shade, whatever you call it, the, the, the globe. And there was a and there was a white plastic ring right here that screws over the socket to hold down the shade. And there we have it. Not bad, not bad at all. All right, so there's the, the there's the uh, upgrade, the retrofit. It doesn't look too bad at all. So that fixture, I think, was eighteen dollars. The bulb was about two fifty. I think the uh, it makes uh, we're up to twenty fifty, and that switch that we put in was about four fifty. So what's that? Twenty four, twenty five bucks. So this was about a twenty five dollar upgrade. There's the old guy. Not real impressive. Dingeville. That one looks nice. We're only using about five watts of electricity, um, so it's not pulling a lot of battery. So if you're dry camping or boondocking, you're not going to have to spend a lot of battery juice to fi to power those lights up. And I feel like it. Uh, it looks nice, turned out pretty good, and it wasn't that hard to accomplish. And if this isn't your style of fixture, no problem. There's so many to choose from as long as it takes an incandescent bulb or there's a way that you can up, uh, upgrade it to a, uh, I guess the word is retrofit it to a 12 volt bulb. Great. And of course, got to have a switch to turn it on and off, right? I'm Buck WSR Weezer. I thank you for joining me on this project. Hope it's an inspiration to you and a help. Please leave your comments or questions. I look forward to hearing from you and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.